Thank you for joining us today for today's reading intervention lesson for levels T and U. Please make sure you have the article Go Outside and Play in front of you now. Before we start reading the article, what genre of the article do you think this is and why? Yes, it's nonfiction. This article is giving facts and about how good it is for your mind and body to play outside. The article also has nonfiction text features like headings and lists. Pause the video and begin reading the article to yourself. After you've completed reading the article, unpause the video to continue the lesson. Let's go over some of the vocabulary in the article that may be new to you. Coordinate, engage, and supervise. Pause the video and find these words in the text. What do you think these words mean? Can you use them in a sentence? What context clues help you figure out the word? Let's review the definitions. Coordinate, as in coordination found within the passage. The ability to use different parts of the body together smoothly and efficiently. Engage. To involve yourself in something. To take part in. And lastly, supervise. Direct or oversee during the performance of a task. Are you ready to answer some comprehension questions next? If you feel you aren't ready, pause the video and reread the text. If you are ready, pause the video to get a pencil. You can record your answers on your paper copy of the article, or if you are completing this task online, please get a piece of blank paper and record your answers there. Please don't forget to write your date, the title article, title of the article, and your name on the top of the paper. Question one. What does the author describe as the major obstacle to kids today playing outside? Many areas are off limits or unsafe for kids to play. B, more kids live in urban areas where there are no places to play outside. C, more kids have health problems such as attention deficit disorder and nature deficit disorder. D, playing outside is too expensive for parents in the current economy. Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Unpause the video when you have your answer ready. The answer is letter A. Many areas are off limits or unsafe for kids to play. Question two. What is the author trying to persuade the reader to do? A, to play video games more often. B, to be more physically active outdoors. C, to move from urban to rural areas. Or D, to avoid the dangers of playing outside by staying inside. Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Unpause the video when you have your answer ready. The answer is B, to be more physically active outdoors. Question three, read the sentences. I do soccer, so I'm outside a lot, says Jacob C of Nashua, New Hampshire. Sometimes though, I wish I had more time to play outside. Joshua C. would most likely agree with which of the following statements below. A. Kids today should only participate in organized activities due to the safety risks of playing outside. B. Kids today play too much of their sports games online. C. The kids should have time for both organized and unorganized activities outside. D. Kids already spend too much time outside. Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Unpause the video when you have your answer ready. The answer is C. Kids should have time for both organized and unorganized activities outside. Question four. In this section of the great outdoors, the author suggests that readers recapture their childhood. Reread the section which definition is closest to the meaning of recapture as used in that section. To write down or record, 
A, letter B. To imagine an in vivid detail, C. To go back to or live again, D. To take a picture or video of. Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Unpause the video when you have your answer ready. The answer is C. To go back or to go back to or live again. Question 5. What is the author mainly arguing in this passage? A. Kids in urban areas should be provided with cleaner parks more accessible indoor recreation areas, and safer routes to outdoor activity areas. B, playing outside is beneficial for your body and mind, and there are many ways to enjoy the outdoors. C, young kids today will face obesity when they are out older if they do not learn to exercise. D, students should, would perform better in school if they played outside more. Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Unpause the video when you have your answer. The answer is B. Playing outside is beneficial for your body and mind, and there are many ways to enjoy the outdoors. Open-ended questions. Number six. Why is playing outside good for your health? Use evidence from the passage to support your answer. Please pause the video and locate the answer in your text. Write your answer on your paper. Unpause the video when you have the answer written down. One suggested answer could sound like this. In the third paragraph, the author of a book, Richard Liu, says that less time outside can lead to obesity, greater stress, higher rates of physical and emotional illness, illnesses, and less joy in being alive and aware. Then in the section, why play, why outside? The author states that playing outside is good for your health because it expands your senses, helps your body, eases your mind, and brings you closer to the environment. Specifically, benefits can include staying fit, better sleep at night, and lower stress levels. Number seven. Read the sentences and answer the question. Hiking, exploring, and fishing help hone all of your senses, says Betsy Keller. She's a professor of exercise and sports sciences at Ithaca College in New York. Smell, sight, they're all engaged when you're outside. What does Professor Bet Betsy Keller mean when she states that the activities can hone all senses? Please pause the video to locate the answer in the text. Write your answer on your paper. Unpause the video when you have your answer written down. One suggested answer could be as follows. Professor Betsy, Betsy Keller means that your senses get better when you play outside. Your senses are exercised to their maximum ability when you are participating in activities outside, so your senses get stronger. Question 8. The answer below is an incomplete sentence. Choose the answer that best completes the sentence. The author clearly states that you do not need to live in a rural area to enjoy the outdoors. Blank. Many cities and parks have and plots of trees that within the city blocks. A, for instance. B, secondly. C, however. D, obviously. The answer is A, for instance. Tomorrow, you will be completing writing prompts about the article that you have read today. Please choose one question from each column, within the text, beyond the text, and about the text. You will write these answers on a separate piece of paper. Please remember to write your name, the date, and the name of the article on the top of the paper.